Hey, how's it going? As you can see here, I have one box of Topps Museum Collection 2021. Four hits per master box. Each mini box guarantees one one of the cards below. On card autograph, autograph relic, quad relic, or relics. There's two relics and two autos per box. I usually like to try this once a year. Price is uh, very expensive for museum. It always kind of has been, but... For what you get out of these, you will most likely not get your money back. Resale value on stuff like Museum Collection is not as good as other products. Um, but I'm a collector, so I like to rip and just keep whatever I get most of the time. So let's see what I end up getting out of these four. Beautiful looking box with trout there. Nice glossy look. That is cool. That looks really nice on camera. So here we go. Let's see what I get. Let's just start down the line here. I always like to rip the uh, the high end stuff. Again, though, I've, I watched some bra uh, breaks of this and have not seen anything remotely close. Although there are some really nice books that I've seen that are pretty cool. Here we go. Let's see what I get. Wish me luck. Crack. Looks like this might be an auto or a relic. All right, so here's the cards. Looking at them in person for the first time. It's a brown or bronze version, I think. Flip it over, you can see the back. Nice. Ricky Henderson, Jake Cronenworth rookie. Chapman. Sixto Sanchez and the hit. Mike Ostremski. Auto, nice. Tw 220 of 300. Nice looking card there. I like this design way more than 2020. I did not like the font they used. Kind of looked a little cheap to me. This is cool though. I like the look of this. Nice Yaz Auto. 300. All right. There's the first autograph. Let's see what this one has. I'd like to get a Mr. Trout. No doubt, Mr. Trout. It's really the only way you're going to get your money back. This one feels a little heavier. I mean, a relic feels like. Maybe a patch. Looks like a thicker card. Ooh, nice blue George Brett. 57 to 150. Base cards are pretty nice. I still like Tribute the most out of 2021 so far. Another George Brett right behind it. Albies. Canvas Collection Kirillov. And they're usually a reprint. Let's see what's behind it. Nick Castellanos Auto Relic. Nice. It's been doing good this year. Nice dual relic there. There's the numbering on the back, 197 of 271. Kind of a random total on that. It's cool though, I don't know how many Castellanos I have. So that's cool. Let's look at the back of this canvas collection, make sure it's not a one of one it is not. If it is a one of one it'll look different on the back, I think with the artist signature as well. Most of these are reprints of the original ones, and these two should be relics. Another thick card there. Ron Santo Orange. I don't think that's brown. Maybe it is. It's kind of orangey. Tell Marte, the funny looking face after he threw the ball. Nate Pearson has another funny looking face. Let's go for three. Joe Maurer. And the relic. Goldschmidt. Looks nice. 24 of 25. Nice glossy finish to this card here. 
looks pretty nice in person. Reminds me of Tribute. There is the back. All right. Let's see what the last pack holds. Not sure how many uh, old school Hall of Famer players are in this. It'd be cool to get a relic, old school relic. Be happy with that. Another thick one. Brady Singer. Museal. Alex Brickman. Ted Williams. And. Oh, nice. Zach Gallen. 17 of 25. Nice patch there. Cool. Not a crazy box. Cards look nice, though. I like it more than the design of last year, as I mentioned. These look pretty slick. So there you go. Recap. Zach Gallon, 25. Goldie Quad Relic, 25. Castellanos Auto Dual Relic. And start off with the uh, Mike Ostromski. So not a bad box. Pretty happy with it overall. Could always be better, but not bad. There you go. Thanks for watching this one box break of Top Museum Collection 2021. Catch you all later. Peace.